All right, here we go. Doc in the house. What's up, everybody? Happy freaking Monday Night Baseball to you. Morgana versus Morgan Fairchild. Ezra Denny, how dare you, friends? How dare you? And we're not going to have the A's tonight. We're not going to have expansion teams. We're going to have a Hall of Fame theme tonight for our first ever Monday Night Baseball broadcast. I'm your host, Dr. Dynastic. Welcome to the Dynastic Studios where you can see behind me, yes, it is Monday Night Baseball. Yeah, got to get dressed up, got to class up the joint, you know? I mean, not everybody has the natural panache of Dishnet 34. Some of us have to plus up the thread game. So, a little thought here. All right, Ezra Denny was guessing McGriff versus Roland. Who wants to see that? Yep, that's exactly what we're going to do. You might see the little banner down there at the bottom of the screen. So, let's get to it. Now, uh, this is going to be one game, one game. We're going to set it up for you right now. This is also for our new people here. Maybe you're new to Out of the Park Baseball. You want to know how to play the game in a different way. Maybe you've, maybe all you've been doing is getting pack drops and perfect team. You've been playing iron. You've been doing all of those things. And you're like, hey, look, if I could play any matchup between any two teams, how do I do it? Pretty simple. Did you see how I did it? Right here, load screen. Load screen right here. Historical exhibition. You can pick, you can do a World Series. Let's say you want to replay. I know I would like to play. Replay this. 1988 World Series. Ugh. Dodgers beating the A's. And, of course, we all know what happened in Game 1. A gimpy Kirk Gibson comes off the bench, hits a home run, pinch hit home run off Dennis Eckersley to win Game 1 of the World Series. The series was never the same. The Dodgers won. You could replay that. Now, that's too easy for us. No, instead, what we're going to do is this. We are going to play. Let's get out of this. Let's go ahead and restart that. Historical exhibition. We are going to set our own matchup here. And for that, we are going to take the modern era 2006 St. Louis Cardinals. 2006 St. Louis Cardinals. All right. I know what you're thinking, Doc. St. Louis Cardinals from 2006. They they had 83 wins. 83 wins. And no, we will not get a guest appearance from Arnold Schwarzenegger tonight. The question has been asked by Beetleboy911. It is not for tonight. There will be no Arnold. You have to go to my channel to watch that. Dr. Dynastic. You will get no Arnold for tonight. Right, we are going to award people with a good game tonight. We are not going to do Arnold. Okay, it's me, Doctor Dynastic. There will be no Vin Scully. There will be no Arnold. It'll just be me. That's it. Okay. Gosh, guys, seriously, Arnold, you got Terminator Eight to work on. Give me a break here, buddy. So we're gonna have the 2006 St. Louis Cardinals, which had two losing streaks of eight games during that that playoff run, some way, somehow. And yet still, yet still went to the World Series. Unbelievable. All right. And their opponent will be from the power years. 1993, you guessed it, your Atlanta Braves. Of course, the common thread between these two teams is, you guessed it, you knew it. It's not a Tuma, RK Brassi. Great to see you, man. Great to see you. Yeah, it's going to be your Atlanta Braves and your St. Louis Cardinals. The common thread being two Hall of Famers. Took a little longer for one of those Hall of Famers than it should have probably. As, uh, of course, we all know Fred McGriff just inducted into the Hall of Fame yesterday. Over the weekend, Hall of Famer Fred McGriff. Mid-season acquisition for the 1993 Atlanta Braves against fellow Hall of Famer Scott Rowland and the St. Louis Cardinals. All right, folks, I'm going to set this game up in a moment. So first, a word from our sponsors. You're watching Monday Night Baseball on Out of the Park Developments. 24 years of excellence have all led to this. 
Out of the Park Baseball 24 is the definitive award-winning MLB strategy game. Play what the pros play. Out of the Park Baseball 24 takes baseball strategy to the next level like never before. All new on-screen analytics to power your decision making, giving you a comprehensive view of the field. Dive deeper into the action with new 3D animations and visual improvements that bring the game to life. The most detailed GM mode in sports games keeps raising the realness bar. The most authentic experience ever. And Perfect Team swings back with a whole new experience. The incredible long-running baseball strategy series never stops hustling to be the best. Turn your team into a dynasty. Win the World Series. Out of the Park Baseball 24, the Infinite Baseball Sandbox. Available March 2023. All right, so there you go. And if you have not already bought Out of the Park Baseball 24, what are you doing here? Out of the Park Baseball, you can get it on the link on your screen. Use the code DYNASTIC to get 10% off. 10%? Are you kidding me? 10%. My goodness, you could use that money for crypto and make yourself a billionaire. A lot of things you could do with 10% off Out of the Park 24. All righty. Let's get back to the game. A lot of you are saying you remember the original Monday Night Baseball. Could we call it XXTP, maybe Ezra says. Ezra, Denny, by the way, you'll be hearing this a lot. Uh, we love our affiliate streamers. Big shout out to Ezra Denny, one of the uh, many fantastic affiliate streamers. Now, what we are doing today is this. Uh, we do have to adjust the lineups a little bit here because the default lineups do not jive with what I want. And I looked up the box scores from both of these teams' playoff runs or World Series, depending on how it went, for the St. Louis Cardinals. So I had to make a little bit of adjustment. We want to make sure that Preston Wilson is your starting left fielder. We also want to make sure that Aaron Miles is in the lineup. And we're going to drop Miles to the eight spot. And Molina, a young Yadier Molina, batting seventh. Scott Rowland, you got to move way up in the order. By way up, I mean number five. He'll be followed by Preston Wilson, Yadier Molina. That all looks kosher. That actually looks good. All right, meantime, let's take a look at your... 1993 Atlanta Braves. Not going to have to do too much here. I think we're just going to move Damon Berryhill as the starting catcher. Oop, something happened there. Let's get Damon back there. Damon. Berryhill, Damon. Damon. Damon's back. Let's go. Let's uh, move Olsen a little bit there. And now we want to make sure we get the order right. All right, Ronnie Gant, you're going to move up to three. And Fred McGriff, Crime Dog, Hall of Famer, batting fourth. David Justice, batting fifth. Pendleton, Barry Hill, Lemke. And there we go. All right, folks, let's get ready to go here. This has been a little bit of a pregame preamble. We will usually not go through that. Next time we, we stream this, it'll go right into the game, just like that. I need to update my face, gents. Ah, I knew I forgot one thing. I knew I forgot one thing. Can we get a professional in the chat? Well, you're going to have to get used to David Eckstein uh, with a mustache. There goes the immersion. Let's just cancel it. No stream tonight. No stream. We're done. No face, gents. The x dash, as we call it. Thank you. Let's get a professional. All right, let's get to your pregame show as we get you ready to take you to Atlanta, Georgia. Are you ready for some MNB? Let me know in chat. Monday Night Baseball. Here we go. That was a little anticlimactic. <laughs> Are you ready? Awkward pause. No music. The chat's bringing it, though. MNB. MNB. Here 
we go. And folks, welcome to Fulton County Stadium. We are in the gem of Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, for Monday Night Baseball, folks, on Out of the Park Developments. I'm your host, Dr. Dynastic, from the Press Box, which has been reconstructed. If you have been watching baseball this year, in the year 1993, of course, you know that this press box at Fulton County Stadium burned down. Had a little fire just as Fred McGriff was about to make his major league debut. His Atlanta Braves debut was a little dinged up in the lineup as he was traded over from San Diego. Had to wait a little bit. Wasn't quite 100%. And then, well, the day that he would make his debut... The press box here in Atlanta caught fire. So let's see who is going to catch fire here. Two future Hall of Famers squaring off. There are multiple Hall of Famers beyond these two, but our spotlight tonight is on Fred McGriff and Scott Rowland. All right, ready for some baseball here on your pregame show. And we'll be reading our ad reads throughout the broadcast here. We want to thank our sponsors, our subscribers on the Dr. Dynastic channel. You get your custom reads here on the channel. Your pregame show being brought to you by Alex's Homestyle Southern Baked Beans. When you want your beans baked, give a can of Alex's Homestyle Southern Baked Beans a shot. See what the temperature is here for this winner take all dynastic matchup, the Hall of Fame game between the St. Louis Cardinals of 2006 and the Atlanta Braves of 1993. Game time temperature here from Atlanta Fulton County Stadium 65 degrees, partly cloudy, wind blowing in from left at nine miles an hour. Pre game weather report brought to you by Laptop Out. It is a great day for baseball. And we're glad you could join us here for this 4.30 start here in Atlanta for this dynastic matchup. 4 p.m. pregame show as we get you ready for first pitch. And let's introduce your starting lineups here tonight. And we'll start with the home team, the Atlanta Braves, out in the field. You're starting outfield today. Ron Gant in left. Otis Nixon patrolling center field here tonight. And out in right. Mr. Halle Berry, David Justice, the right fielder. One gold glover, not including the pitcher on the infield, of course. That is the former most valuable player, Terry Pendleton. He's over at third. Up the middle, Jeff Blauser and Mark Lemke. And the midseason acquisition, Fred McGriff for these 1993 Braves is holding down first. Boy, what a season Crime Dog had in Atlanta for the Braves. And the starting battery here tonight for the Braves of 1993, Damon Berryhill behind the dish for the Cy Young Award winner, Greg Maddox. Maddox, another fantastic season for him. Back-to-back 20-win seasons for him. Back-to-back Cy Young Awards as well. His first season here in Atlanta has been a good one after coming over from Chicago. We'll talk about that mammoth contract he signed to come on over and join the Atlanta Braves. Offensively for the St. Louis Cardinals from 2006. David Eckstein, mustache and all. The x stash will lead off and bat shortstop. Chris Duncan, the young phenom, will bat second. He'll play out and right for the cards. And then, of course, the man, the myth, the legend, Albert Pujols. What a career this man is having. He'll bat three. And in the cleanup spot, Jim Edmonds trying to get back to 100%. He's been dealing with injuries here in 2006. He'll bat cleanup. Followed by the future Hall of Fame third baseman, Scott Rowland. Scott Rowland batting fifth. Preston Wilson batting sixth, followed by Yadier Molina. Young catcher with a bright future, Yadi Molina. He'll be followed by Aaron Miles, light hitting second baseman and batting ninth. The pitcher is Chris or Chris Carpenter. All right, your starting lineups brought to you by Hertz Donut. Next time you're in Cedar Falls, Iowa, you might just find a really vanilla gorilla at Hertz Donut. Open 25 8. Want a Hertz? Hertz Donut, the best in Cedar Falls. 
All right, with that, folks, we are going to take a quick break. And when we come back, your first pitch being brought to you by S Gun 3 CPA. Use S Gun for 10% off your next tax fraud. And there we go. After the pregame show, it is time to play some baseball here today at Atlanta Fulton County Stadium. Dynastic matchup between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Atlanta Braves. Showdown of the Hall of Famers. And here's a 2-2 pitch. Grounder to short. Eckstein is out. 6-3 on your scorecard as Jeff Blauser, not known for his defense, known for his bat, makes the play at short. And there's one down. Let me know in chat where you're watching from. I'd love to get to know you. We are right now in Atlanta. We are from the super secret lockdown bunker in the Pacific Northwest, the Dynastic Studios. Let me know where you are in chat. We'd love to get to know you and uh, get to know you a little bit more on a more intimate level, if you will. All right, Chris Duncan now at the plate. Duncan. By the way, last major leaguer to hit a home run at Bush Memorial Stadium back on October 2nd, 2005. Of course, he and the Cards in 2006 breaking in the new building with a pretty nice season. 83 wins to win the NL Central. Folks coming in from St. Louis, Garnack's going to love this matchup. At least we hope. Other folks coming in from Oklahoma City, Detroit metro area. Red Sixer fan from his computer desk. Haven't heard that one before. Boise, Idaho. Brent, welcome from the Gem State, the Treasure State, I should say. Which one is which? I can't remember. One or the other. Uh, Richmond, Virginia. Lowry, 6850 coming in hot. And outside of the Chicago area as well. Gem State it is. And the Phoenix area. All right. So here we go. Good to see you guys here for this one. Well, in case you're wondering, Chris Duncan is from Tucson, Arizona. Got some Arizonans in the house. Chris Duncan at the plate from Canyon Del Oro High School. A first round supplemental pick back in 1999. And here he is taking on the great Greg Maddox. Full count pitch on the way. Payoff pitch taken for ball four. So Greg Maddox, with that impeccable control, surrenders a one-out walk to Chris Duncan. Of course, Maddox, having a fantastic year, came over from Chicago. Five-year contract, $28 million. Well, $28 million got you a lot in the year 1993, did it not? All right, speaking of money, here is Albert Pujols. Ratings out of control on the man they call the machine. 70 contact, 70 power, 80 avoid Ks. He can do it all. Albert Pujols. Will he throw a Maddox today? We'll have to wait and see. Will he throw a complete game in fewer than 100 pitches? Maddox will pitch from the stretch. Duncan on first. Albert Pujols at the plate. 2-2 pitch. Swung on. Hit to left and caught out and left by Gant. What a grab. Ron Gant got a bead on that one. Another look at this replay brought to you by Ezra Denny. OTP After Dark brings you drops. Dumb jokes, no Dodgers, and daddy wags. Come stay up late with OTP After Dark. A web gem indeed. So Pujols is robbed of extra bases. That had double written all over it. Duncan having to retreat back to first. And here comes Jim Edmonds. Edmonds, former longtime Anaheim Angel. Back drew up just not far from Anaheim Stadium. That's where his father lived. Just a few miles away. Anaheim Stadium. 
Went to Diamond Bar High School. Seventh round pick back in 1988. Jim Edmonds at the plate. One on, one out against Maddox. And the Mad Dog induces the ground ball out to first unassisted. There's the crime dog. Fred McGriff, one runner stranded as we head to the bottom of one in Atlanta. Jim Edmonds with a two and a half star rating. What is going on out here? The commish is in the house. One of our other fantastic affiliate streamers. Say hi to FKN commish. LB has entered the chat. And if you'd like to at me as well at Dr. Dynastic, that'll help me uh, see your comments even more. If you're trying to direct something our way. Just saying. All right, let's get back to baseball. Bottom of one, let's introduce our starting lineups brought to you by Hertz Dona. Defensively for the St. Louis Cardinals, winners of the NL Central, beating the San Diego Padres in the NLDS three games to one. Then the Mets in the NLCS four games to three. And then the Detroit Tigers in the World Series four games to one. Their defense here tonight for the 06 cards. Preston Wilson in left. Jim Edmonds, the gold glover out in center. The young up-and-comer Chris Duncan in right. Around the horn we go for the cards defense. Scott Rowland, David Eckstein, Aaron Miles, Albert Pujols, and Yachty Molina behind the dish. He will catch tonight for Chris Carpenter. Chris Carpenter is on the hill. From Exeter, New Hampshire. Boy, if you want to see a complete game, Chris Carpenter, one of the best in the biz. Last year, led the National League. Complete games with seven. Then this go around in 06. Three shutouts to lead all National League pitchers. And yes, please, can we get some more Jose Canseco? Someday, Ezra, someday. All right, offensively for the Atlanta Braves here on their home field in Atlanta. Otis Nixon, your leadoff man. Got a little pop in the number two spot, the shortstop, Jeff Blauser. Ron Gant, who had that magnificent diving catch in left, he'll bat third. And then the crime dog, future Hall of Famer, Fred McGriff. Sounds so good, doesn't it? Fred McGriff batting cleanup. He'll be followed by David Justice, Terry Pendleton, Damon Berryhill, Mark Lemke and the pitcher, Greg Maddox, will bat ninth. Chris Carpenter will pitch from the windup here against Otis Nixon. Otis signed with the Yankees back in 1983. Made his way over to Cleveland. Played for a few years with the Indians before moving north of the border to Montreal. Playing for the Expos from 1988 to 90. And here he is since 1991. And Atlanta Brave. Nixon. First pitch offering to Otis. No, he's going to try to bunt for a base hit. Throw to first. Will not be in time. So he legs it out. Let's take a look at that replay. It's being brought to you by the 5280 DeMoss. And boy, did he motor down that line. Molina's throw. It looked like there was a little bit of hesitation between Yachty Molina and Chris Carpenter. So Molina unable to get the throw down the line in time. So Otis Nixon on first. And watch out, folks. Some fun facts about Otis Nixon. First of all, 47 stolen bases this year. And holds the record, tied the record for most stolen bases in a single game. Swiped six bags back in 1991. And his 72 steals in 91 Still, to this day, an Atlanta Braves record. He's on first. Carpenter pitching from the stretch against Jeff Blauser. First pitch to him. Runner going throw down to second. And Molina gets him this time. So Yachty couldn't get him on that bunt attempt. But Yachty gets the last laugh. Another look at that replay brought to you by Podman19. That guy has got some wheels. But that kid Yachty has himself an arm. 
So Nixon taking off the base pass, and now the bases are clear for Jeff Blauser. On the 1 1, Blauser, base hit to right. Pass the second baseman, it scoots through for a base hit. So Jeff Blauser with a single. Boy, Nixon could have been on third on that one. And Blauser now on first. Morgan's fired up here at Packed House at Atlanta Fulton County Stadium. Boy, well, I say Packed House. We've just got the attendance figure here, and apparently there's only 19,462 people here. They have something better to do? Where are you, Atlanta? A lot of empty seats out here. Guess they're waiting for that new ballpark. Maybe they got a little put off by the fire here in the press box. I'm here. The press box caught fire. You don't see Dr. Dynastic hanging out at home. Come on, Atlanta. Show up for your team. Playing up against the 2006 Cardinals. What are we doing? Ron Gant now at the plate with Jeff Blauser at the plate. Ron Gant. Being mentioned in the same breath as Willie Mays and Bobby Bonds. Why? Well, Ron Gant, 1990 and 91, back-to-back, 30-30 -back, seasons, 30 home runs, 30 stolen bases. Only other players ever to do that in back-to-back -back seasons. The aforementioned, say hey, Willie Mays and Bobby Bonds. 1-2 pitch on the way from the stretch. Gant looking at strike three. Looking at a fastball right down Broadway. Game's first strikeout being brought to you by Chess Safari. Experience the ultimate getaway. Book your trip today with the world leader in board game themed safaris. Chess Safari. All right, so Blauser remains on first. And now here comes Fred McGriff. Came over from San Diego. Mid-season trade. What did the Padres get in return for... A future Hall of Famer, Vince Moore, Donnie Elliott, and Melvin Nieves. Really? 3-1 pitch to McGriff. McGriff takes it low for ball four. Blauser to second. And Atlanta has something going here. Two on, two out for David Justice. Congratulations to David, by the way, marrying Halle Berry this year, 1993, on New Year's Day. I give him two years. McGriff on first, Blauser on second, and David Justice on the 2-2. Two -two. Grounder to second, and that will do it. So the Bravo strand two at the end of one. We are scoreless on Monday Night Baseball. All right, up for inning number two in Atlanta. And we got a good one here, folks. Battle of two recent Hall of Fame inductees. Fred McGriff. And Scott Rowland. Rowland will lead off here as we start the second inning. Scott Rowland, known for his defense, Gold Glover. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But now in his fourth full season in St. Louis. Scott Rowland, four straight All-Star Game appearances. Scott Rowland, boy, does he do it all. Maddox will pitch from the windup here. Ahead in the count, one, two. Grounded to third. He's going to come in on it. Will Pendleton throw to first? Camera guy's a little bit slow on it, but we can tell you that he does get the out. One down. And here comes now Preston Wilson. Ninth overall pick by the New York Mets out of Bamberg Earhart High School in 1992. Preston Wilson. Wilson behind in the count 0-2. Hanging curveball. Diving play made by Nixon. So Nixon, using that speed, comes on to make the play. My, oh, my. This robbery being brought to you by Attica Online. Visit Attica Online Prison for five years, too, with good behavior. Well, that is a couple of web gems in the outfield. David Justice, the ball is coming to you next, my friend. Ron Gant in the first inning, taking away extra bases from Pujols, and then 
It's Otis Nixon coming in to make that dandy of a play. Yadier Molina now steps in. Base is empty. One, two, pitch. Molina goes the other way on the chalk and fair. Rounding first, heading for second, and it is a two-out double for Molina. Let's have another look at that one. Replay being brought to you by the Tiny Noob, and that was just, just fair. So it's a two-out double as St. Louis has its first base hit. Aaron Miles now steps in. Miles coming over in a trade with Colorado, along with Larry Bigby in exchange for Ray King, that right before this 2006 season, former 19th rounder drafted by Houston. In 1995, Aaron Miles at the plate. Miles on the 0-1. Grounded a short. Blouser throws to first. And that'll do it. So St. Louis strands a runner in scoring position. Going to bottom of two here on Monday Night Baseball. All right, first ever Monday night baseball matchup in the history of Out of the Park Developments. And we have got a good one, folks. We have gone to the time machine. We've taken you to beautiful Atlanta, Fulton County Stadium between the 1993 Braves featuring recent Hall of Fame inductee Fred McGriff in the prime of his career and the 2006 St. Louis Cardinals and Scott Rowland who is manning third base here tonight for the Cards. Terry Pendleton at the plate, 1991 NL MVP. And that only one All-Star Game appearance for Pendleton came last year in 1992. But Pendleton here at the plate. Switch hitter, he'll bat from the left side against Chris Carpenter. 3-1 pitch. And he swats that over to the first baseman. Unassisted ground ball out. Pujols manning the bag. He makes the play. And there's one down. That'll bring up Damon Berryhill, former first rounder for the Chicago Cubs back in 1984. Came over with Mike Bielecki to Atlanta for Yorkies Perez and Turk Wendell. So here he is with a new start to his career. The veteran catcher, Damon Berryhill. Berryhill behind the count. Two strike pitch, grounded a short. Nice play by Eckstein, throwing a first. And there's two down. And Mark Lemke will get his first plate appearance right now. 252 hitter on the year with seven home runs. First pitch on the way to Lemke. Lemke swings, going the other way. Grounder to third, and there is Roland to make the play. And we are rolling along here in Fulton at the end of two. Scoreless between the 2006 St. Louis Cardinals and your 1993 Atlanta Braves. 24 years of excellence have all led to this. Out of the Park Baseball 24 is the definitive award-winning MLB strategy game. Play what the pros play. Out of the Park Baseball 24 takes baseball strategy to the next level like never before. All new on-screen analytics to power your decision making, giving you a comprehensive view of the field. Dive deeper into the action with new 3D animations and visual improvements that bring the game to life. The most detailed GM mode in sports games keeps raising the realness bar. The most authentic experience ever. And Perfect Team swings back with a whole new experience. The incredible long-running baseball strategy series never stops hustling to be the best. Turn your team into a dynasty. Win the World Series. Out of the Park Baseball 24, the Infinite Baseball Sandbox. Available March 2023. All right, there we go. Thank you to our sponsor today at the Park Baseball. Pretty good game. Pretty good game. I might be a little biased. Let's get back into the game here. 
our Monday night baseball matchup. Every Monday night here at 4 p.m. Pacific, we bring you the game of the week. Butler on the air, first time chatter, and was streaming out of the park earlier. We decided to bring a crowd of 150 souls onto Butler's broadcast just to say hi. And look at that. Now he's hanging out with us. Great to see you guys. Thanks for joining in here today. Chris Carpenter, the pitcher for the cards. He will now get his first at bat against Greg Maddox. Chris Carpenter will lead off here in the third. Low scoring affair. You got two aces here between Carpenter and Maddox. And Maddox can feel the position pretty well, folks. That ball did not go to him. But watch how quickly he moves down that line to cover the bag. Ground ball out. And look at Maddox right there, ready to go. That is why Greg Maddox is a gold glove pitcher. So Maddox pitching from the stretch as we go back to the top of the order. David Eckstein now at the plate. Second straight year that Eckstein has made it into the All-Star game here in 2006. Former Anaheim Angel coming over to St. Louis as a free agent acquisition. 292 hitter on the year. Not known for his pop, but boy is he a fan favorite in St. Louis. Here's the 1-0 to Eckstein. Eckstein, grounder down the line. Nice play by Pendleton as he backhands that one. Throws to first. So the circle change. Grounded down the line. Nice play by Terry Pendleton. We got a couple of gold glovers at third. Wonder who's going to win this matchup. You have to put your money on one of those two between Terry Pendleton and Scott Rowland. It'd be difficult, but I think we know where we're going with that matchup. We're all going with Rowland, are we not? Here's Chris Duncan now. His second plate appearance. Monster year for Duncan. Look at these numbers. 22 home runs in 280 at-bats in 2006. Folks, that home run to at-bat ratio, trailing only Boston's David Ortiz and Philadelphia's Ryan Howard for most home runs per at-bat in 2006. Chris Duncan at the plate. Duncan on the 0-1 against Maddox. Grounder to first. And this time McGriff says, don't worry, my friend. I got it this time. You just jog into the dugout. Unassisted out for McGriff. Heading now to the bottom of three in Atlanta. And now it's the other pitcher's turn to hit for Atlanta, it's Greg Maddox at the play. Maddox will be followed by Otis Nixon, who's on deck, and Jeff Blauser is in the hole. Carpenter pitching very well right now. League leader in complete games last year. Shutouts this year. And how about that 2005 season he had before this year in 06? 21 game winner, 21 wins, 5 losses, 2.83 ERA, 213 strikeouts. But boy, what he did before the All-Star break in 05 last year, something to admire. How about that season? Here's the 3-2 pitch from Carpenter. Grounded to short. Eckstein is there. Uh-oh, dropped by Pujols. We'll see who gets charged the error on that one. This replay being brought to you by Lowry6850. We're waiting word from the uh, press box here. Now, remember, the press box here at Atlanta, Fulton County Stadium, it's a little bit in shambles. We did have a fire here back in July. So I'm actually kind of looking through a hole right now and some drywall. And it looks like the error will be charged, yes, to Eckstein. Thank you very much, official scorekeeper. So it will be David Eckstein. Eckstein charged with the air. Maddox on first for Otis Nixon. Boy, if there ever was a situation for Otis to lay another bunt down, this might be it. Carpenter from the stretch. He will lay down the bunt, down the line. Fair ball, and that will move the runner. So he did his job. <laughs> hmm, hmm, hmm. 
Ted Turner's got to do something about this situation here in the press box. Kamish understands it. He gets it. We need a professional here. We need a professional. Maddox is on second. That sets the table nicely now for Jeff Blauser. Blauser for a former fourth round pick back in 1984. And Blauser is behind in the count. One, two. Blauser swinging a miss for strike three. That's another chess safari strikeout. So unable to move Maddox. And that brings up Ron Gantz. Ron Gant at the plate. Two one pitch to Gant. He grounds this one to second. And easy breezy after surrendering one base runner. We're going to the third. After at the end of three, Atlanta zero, St. Louis zero, scoreless on Monday Night Baseball. Folks, we welcome you back here to Atlanta and Albert Pujols. What a year, folks. 49 homers, 137 RBI, 119 runs scored. The model of consistency. But even better than those numbers, perhaps, otherworldly slash line. 331 average, 431 on base percentage, 671 slugging percentage, and an OPS above 1,000, 1 1.102. Unbelievably, despite these numbers, Albert not named the National League MVP. He won it last year in 05, was the runner-up this year in 06. Pujols will lead off against Maddox on the 2-2. He grounds to short. One hopper. Blauser is there. Throw to first, not in time. Pujols legs it out. Where did this speed come from? Another look on the replay brought to you by Mr. Masu. Boy, Blouser just didn't put anything on that one. You know you're doing something wrong if you're giving up an infield single to Albert Pujols. And here's Jim Edmonds now. Edmonds hit list so far. And here's a little bit of a fun fact about Jim. This we would call a nickel and dime trade, quite literally. Traded by Philadelphia with Doug Nickel and Cash for Placido Polanco, Bud Smith, and Mike Timlin. Who do you think got the better end of that deal? Edmonds looks at that. Hmm. Sinker's low. Throw to catcher at first. Pujols is back in time. I, I, I hate to call out our camera operator here, but can we please get a professional on the camera here? Let's take a look at the replay, see if we can get a better vantage point. A little back pick throw here. Never depend on the camera. If you're a play-by-play -play announcer, never, never rely on the camera. you got to use your own eyes. Jim Edmonds remains at the plate here with Pujols on first. Full count pitch. Strike three. And they throw him in down two. A strike him out, throw him out here. So Edmonds strikes out. Pujols caught swinging. That did not work out very well. And now Roland, who is 0 for 1 at the plate. And yes, can we please get some cotton candy it is the official currency of Dr. Dynastic. We love our cotton candy. 1-1 one, one pitch. Grounder off the mound. There's Maddox fielding the position very well. There's your gold glover and Cy Young award winner, Greg Maddox. Bottom of four coming up here in Atlanta. Scoreless on Monday Night Baseball.
The stream is not over. But because of licensing reasons, we do not have music or anything like that. So we just go with a cool sounds of silence. Little extended break to fuel up and ready to go. Thank you for sitting back and enjoying. If you'd like to see your name on the scoreboard for Out of the Park Monday Night Baseball, you can follow me on Twitch. The address is there. You can go ahead and click my name and follow. And you can learn how you can choose the matchup on Monday Night Football. Uh, almost said it. Almost said it. Monday Night Baseball. And get your name on the scorecard. So there you go. We welcome you back here now to Atlanta. Still scoreless between the Braves and the Cardinals. Hall of Fame bash. Fred McGriff will lead off 2023 Hall of Fame inductee. And has a new friend in Cooperstown. The man who is on third right now, the third baseman, Scott Rowland, both inducted in the same year, which is why we are now playing this game today in our first ever Monday night baseball matchup. McGriff at the plate. No official at bat for him here so far. Brad McGriff, first player to lead both leagues in home runs, the American League and National League did so for both since the start, since the dead ball era. Did it in Toronto, did it again in San Diego. Fred McGriff. He'll lead off here in the bottom of the fourth. He's worked the count full. 3-2. Sharp grounder to the second baseman. Easy play for Aaron Miles. McGriff is retired. And here's David Justice now. Made his major league debut May 1989. You re may remember who Justice replaced. The one and only Dale Murphy. Dale Murphy, fan favorite here in Atlanta still to this very day. Murph wound up getting traded to Philadelphia in 1990, making room for the man at the plate right now, David Justice. Speaking of Hall of Famers, I think Dale Murphy needs another push to get him into the Hall of Fame. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way to Justice. Justice, fly ball, center field, and it falls in front of Edmonds. I don't know what, was Edmonds looking at Halle Berry in the outfield? Let's take another look here. Replay being brought to you by Gen X or 69. He just was not watching the baseball, folks. Maybe Jane Fonda was out there. Uh, we don't know. Jim Edmonds was doing everything but watching the baseball there. So Justice is on first. Official ruling base hit. <laughs> and here's Terry Pendleton. Pendleton is 0 for 1. Prime opportunity for Pendleton here. As he lifts the one high and deep out to right center field and it drops in for a base hit. It rolls all the way to the wall. Run comes in to score. Play at third. Not in time. It's an RBI triple for Terry Pendleton. Boy, he got all of that one. So a three-bagger for Pendleton. Peach King SMJ bringing us that replay. And the Bravos are on the board. It's one to nothing. So Pendleton now standing on third with Atlanta leading one to nothing and Damon Berryhill at the plate. Barry Hill on the 1-0. Oh, base hit up the middle with a base hit. It will fall for a single RBI. The infield was playing in. Barry Hill sat on it and drilled it right back up the middle. Here's another look on the replay. Infield in. Base knock up the middle. 2-0 Atlanta. 
Chris Carpenter now trying to get out of this. He'll pitch from the stretch once again with Lemke now at the plate. Lemke swings at that offering, grounds to second. They'll get the fours and on to first for two. It's your double play. Our first double play of the game brought to you by Baseball Dreamland. After the stream, check out Baseball Dreamland on YouTube for OTP tutorials and unique playthroughs. Four innings in the books in Atlanta. Braves leading against the Cards 2 to nothing. All right, we are nearing the halfway point of this one, and Greg Maddox is staked now to a 2-0 lead. 2-0 so far. That might just be enough for Mad Dog here as Maddox, part of a vaunted starting rotation here in Atlanta, Tom Glavin, Steve Avery, John Smoltz, if you were to take the over-under on wins for any of those pitchers, 18, 19, 20, that's around the range. Maddox on the over, he had 20 wins this year. Steve Avery, 18 wins. Smoltz with 15. And leading them all, Tom Glavin, who does not get the start. Tom Glavin, team high, 22 wins. In the regular season here in 1993. My goodness. Maddox from the windup here against Preston Wilson. Wilson, 263 hitter. Better days probably past Wilson. Peaked in 2003. His lone all-star season. Preston Wilson leading the league in RBI. Inflated statistics. Yes, probably in Colorado. In the Mile High City, 141 RBI for the Rockies in 2003. Maddox from the windup against Preston. Wilson gets all of that one. That one is one hopping off the wall. And Wilson motors into second with a leadoff double. Nice piece of hitting there by Preston. So he stands on second with Yadier Molina now at the plate. Molina one for one so far. Chance to put the cards on the board, trailing 2 nothing. First pitch, grounded to third, and Pendleton doesn't even look back the runner. He just throws to first immediately. So that allows Wilson to advance the third with one out. And now it's Aaron Miles. Miles, former Rocky himself, just like Preston Wilson. Fourth in Rookie of the Year voting with the Rockies back in 04. 293 hitter that year in 134 games. Miles on the 1-1. Grounder down the line and fair. That's going to score a run. He's going to head for a second RBI double. Now makes it a 2-1 ball game. Well, you make the call here. Yeah, absolutely fair. That replay brought to you by Brent 32-32. Fair ball down the line. RBI double for Miles. And the game time run now stands on second for the pitcher, Chris Carpenter. Now it's decision time for Tony La Russa. Long time skipper. Started in Chicago with the White Sox. In 1979, of course, won a World Series with the Oakland A's in 1989. And now the skipper going to keep the bat in the hands of Chris Carpenter. So he will leave him in, though this is a prime pinch hitting situation. Of course, we're still only in the fifth inning as Carpenter hasn't even pitched into the fifth yet. But he will leave Carpenter up in the lineup and he'll take on Greg Maddox. With one on and one out. And he's going to ground a short. That will not move the runner. Oh, it gets away from McGriff. McGriff couldn't make the pick. Another error here. Puts Miles on third. Carpenter to second. 
Let me look through that hole again here in the press box. They're going to charge it to Blauser. So both the shortstops, Blauser and Eckstein, have now committed errors. This one could be costly. Carpenter on second, Miles on third for David Eckstein, who can really redeem himself here after that error. Eckstein hitless in two at-bats so far. Eckstein swings at that offering, and it is a shoestring grab. Boy, I didn't know if Justice got that one. Let's take another look here. On the replay, and yes, he did make the catch. And it was quick enough and shallow enough that neither runner could tag up. So Miles remains on third. Carpenter back to second. And now it is Chris Duncan. Duncan with two on, two out. Maddox looks in for the sign from Barry Hill. The 0-2. Grounded a third. That should do it. Pendleton throws a two first, and Maddox gets out of the jam. But a run does come in, heading to the bottom of the fifth in Georgia with a 1993 Braves still leading by one, two to one. Just got a little distracted. I saw a Stratomatic card mentioned in chat and boy oh boy that is the jam that's the one that got me started I can now if my mom is watching I'm going to admit to her right now on live streaming yeah those days in middle school where I said I was sick mom I did you dirty I was not sick I was feeling just fine I was getting my stratomatic fever Playing a little 1987 Stratomatic. That's what I was doing. What's that? We have the truancy office on the phone. I guess that's the end of the stream. I've been caught. There's no statute of limitations, I guess, for skipping school to play Strato. Good old Strato skip, as I like to call it. All right, bottom of the fifth right now. Greg Maddox is at the plate. 165 hitter here in the regular season in 1993. Up against Chris Carpenter. 2-1 ball game. Carpenter trying to keep it that way. That pitch, a ground ball. Easy play over for Eckstein as Maddox is retired. One down. And back to the top of the order. We now go for Otis Nixon. Younger brother Donnell, also a big leaguer, played from 1987 to 1990. Otis Nixon at the plate, the speedster. Been known to drum, drop down a bunt or two. He will not hear. He'll get the green light. Gr uh, high fly ball center field. Edmonds again staring off into the distance. Didn't move again. What on earth is going on with Jim Edmonds? First, it was Halle Berry in the outfield. And now it's Jane Fonda. Just staring out into the bleachers. Another look here on the replay. And keep an eye on Jim Edmonds because he is not keeping an eye on the baseball. So Nixon to second on a double. Carpenter getting no help from his gold glove center fielder. Jeff Blauser now at the plate. With Nixon on second. Payoff pitch. 3-2. Here we go. Fly ball. Right field. And it falls in for a base hit. Nixon rounding third. Throw cut off. And Nixon will hold up at third. Base hit. Blouser. So runners on the corners now for Ron Gantz. Fourth round selection for Atlanta out of Victoria High School in Victoria, Texas. Interesting story about Gann. Hot prospect coming up through the ranks. Had a fantastic start to his major league career, but struggled his second year. And in fact, the Braves decided to send him back down to the minors in 1989. 
And they wanted him at that point, said, look, you struggled. We want to find a new position for you. Struggled as an infielder. They move him back to the outfield. He relearns that position and really got a sense of his major league game. And boy, did that pay off. Comes back the very next year, 303 average, 32 home runs. And yeah, named the National League Comeback Player of the Year. So there you see those numbers after struggling in 1989, 177 average after a very strong and promising 88 season. And now Ron Gant has turned himself into a perennial starter and middle of the lineup hitter for Atlanta. Runners on the corners for Ron Gant. Chris Carpenter pitching from the stretch. Gant jumps on that offering. Fly ball right field. Runner tagging. Throw home. Duncan gets it in in time as Nixon did not tag up and run. He tagged up, but he did not run after the fact. Maybe not quite deep enough for even the speedy Otis Nixon here. So two on now for the man of the hour. Fred McGriff, the crime dog. The nickname coined by Marty Barrett. Of course, we know it better now because of ESPN's Chris Berman. But give credit where credit is due. Marty Barrett coined that phrase, crime dog, for Fred McGriff, who has a chance to deliver with his Braves already up by a run. Carpenter. His pitch on the way. Gets away from Molina. Run will come in. So Nixon finally comes in from third. It's a wild pitch on Chris Carpenter to make it 3-1 to one Atlanta. So Carpenter now trailing by two. His Cardinals down 3-1. to one. Count 2-2. Two, two. McGriff goes the other way. Fly ball deep left field at the track and making the crack catch in the corner there. Lost in the darkness. Another look. How did he come up with that? Take another look. What a grab indeed. Out in left. But at the end of five, Atlanta still on top. It's three to one. Yeah, that, that replay really added a little new dimension on the replay, right? It gives you a new vantage point. Nice play, nonetheless, by Preston Wilson. So we welcome you back here to Atlanta. As we are an hour and 12 minutes into this one, Albert Pujols leading off now the sixth inning for St. Louis, trailing 3-1 to one against Greg Maddox. Pujols, just the American dream. Grandmother America Pujols raised him in the Dominican Republic. They moved to America. Yes, the United States, continental U.S. in 1996, New York City. Two months after that, made their way to the Show Me State, specifically Independence, Missouri. So the red, white, and blue pumping and coursing through the veins of Albert Pujols, his grandmother America, and then he moved to Independence, Missouri. Great American dream. Albert Pujols. Pujols with a little lazy liner to Lemke. Second baseman makes the grab, and Pujols is retired. Now it's Jim Edmonds' turn at the plate. Edmonds is 0 for 2 tonight. 257 hitter on the year. Rough season for Edmonds, and you have to wonder if he'll ever be the same after crashing into the wall at U.S. Cellular Field against the White Sox in Chicago. Suffered what would later be discovered as a concussion. I didn't know that at the time. Limited to 110 games this season, and his numbers really down this year. Two fifty-seven this year, 19 home runs, a big dip from last year. And really the year before that is really when Edmonds came on like gangbusters. 301 average, 42 home runs, 
111 RBI. So we hope that Jim Edmonds can find that hitting stroke. But I tell you what, between that and his field in the outfield right now, we don't even recognize Jim Edmonds here tonight. Edmonds batting from the left side and a base hit up the middle. Edmonds on first. And Scott Rowland is at the plate. Rowland batting from the right side. 296 hitter this year. 22 home runs. 95 RBI. Maddox from the stretch. Maddox's pitch is swatted to center. And the center fielder took his eye off the ball. What is going on in Atlanta, folks? I don't know if there's a laser pointer out there. But look at Otis Nixon, because he is not looking at the baseball. It will be a base hit for Roland. Edmonds on second. And Jim Edmonds has to be thinking, good, I'm not the only one to do this. And that brings up Preston Wilson. And this is a statement I will say, and then you're going to wonder if you're a family tree or a lineage kind of person. I'm going to say this once, and you do the math on this. Preston Wilson, the nephew and stepson of Mookie Wilson. Edmonds on second, rolling on first. Preston Wilson at the plate. Maddox from the stretch, and he hit him. He hit him. So Wilson to first. And the bases are now loaded. Maddox is in trouble with Yadier Molina at the plate. Yadier Molina, part of a very proud baseball family. Dad played baseball. Two brothers are major league players as well. Molina. Behind in the count, the 0-2 dropped in for a called strike. Second K on the night for Maddox. 89 mile an hour fastball just nicking the strike zone. And now it's Aaron Miles. Base is loaded. Two out. Infield will play back. Maddox on the 1-1. And he hit him. Two hit batsman. A run comes in. There's nowhere to put him. Miles going the extra mile. Taking one for the team. So Miles drives in a run the hard way, folks. As Maddox plunked him. It came on a circle change. So it didn't hurt that much. But he leaned into it. And a run comes in. And it's a 3-2 game. We are going to get a pinch hitter now as Tony LaRusse is going to go to the bench. And he's going to a guy that he knows very well from his Oakland A's days. Yeah, Scott Spezio, former A, former Angel, former Mariner. Scott Spezio will pinch hit for Chris Carpenter in the number nine spot in the order. Spezio with the bases loaded. Two out. Maddox from the stretch. Looks in for the sign. He's ready. Barry Hill's ready. Here's the pitch. One, two. Fly ball. Center field. And the catch is made. Cardinals down by one. And it's a 3-2 ball game as we head to the bottom of the sixth.
And folks, welcome back to Monday Night Baseball here with Dr. Dynastic here on Out of the Park Developments. And we got a great one here. 3-2 game at Atlanta Fulton County Stadium. We got a new pitcher now as the Cardinals go to the bench to pinch hit for Chris Carpenter. Scott Spezio came into the ball game, and now Braden Looper will pitch on this Beetle Boy 9-1-1 emergency call to the bullpen. Looper moving over from a closer position last year to now a setup rule this year. Looper putting up a 3.56 ERA. He was the closer for Florida with the Marlins, and then after that, the Mets, and now a setup man with a 3.56 ERA in 69 appearances, Braden Looper. Right-hander comes in, which means we can officially close the books now on Chris Carpenter. Carpenter's final line for the 2006 Cardinals. Five innings, seven hits, three runs, one walk, and two strikeouts. And it will be David Justice now to lead off. Monster season for Justice here in 1993. 270 average, 40 home runs, 120 RBI. That's an MVP caliber season. Wound up finishing third in the MVP ballot. Barry Bonds winning MVP honors. Lenny Dykstra, the runner-up. And Justice, third in the Hall of Fame ballot this year. And Rocky, might I add, an epic soul patch. 3-1 offering on the way to Justice. He'll look at that offering for ball four. So that's how the sixth inning will start. Justice aboard with a leadoff base on balls. Talking about MVPs and MVP candidates, the Braves do have an MVP in Terry Pendleton. 1991 most valuable player in the National League. 319 average led the league. And the improvement from Terry Pendleton in that year when he hit 319, pretty unbelievable. When you look what he did in St. Louis in the year prior, 230 average. Folks, that average jumped by 81 points here in his first year with Atlanta. Led the league in hits that year in 1991 and then did it again Last year, 1992. This year, numbers down slightly, but still a respectable 272. Terry Pendleton at the plate with one on, nobody out. Looper's pitch is going to fall in for a base hit. So Pendleton wheels around first, and Justice is safe at third. Base hit to right field, and the Braves are cooking here in the bottom of the sixth. Pendleton on first now. Justice on third for Damon Berryhill. Berryhill on the 1-1. Damon fly to center. Edmonds tracking it. Makes the catch. Throws home. And not in time. Molina could not apply the tag in time. David Justice comes in to score on a bang-bang play. That will be a sacrifice fly here as Justice comes in, and it's a 4-2 Atlanta lead. Atlanta this year will be its final year playing in the National League West. Geographically speaking, the move back east makes a lot of sense, and this move now make a lot more sense for the San Francisco Giants. They'll be very happy to see that. Because, of course, here in this 1993 season, don't need to tell you, the San Francisco Giants won 103 games. The Braves won 104 games. They won the West by one game. Imagine winning 103 games and not going to the postseason. That is what happened to the San Francisco Giants in 1993. Pendleton on first for Mark Lemke. The 2-1. Grounder through the left side. Base hit past the shortstop. So Pendleton advances 
to second. Mark Lemke with a single. And now it's Deion Sanders. Now, you wouldn't know it by looking at him, but Neon Dion is in the lineup as he will pinch hit. Of course, a two-sport standout playing in the NFL not far from here. Actually, right here for the Atlanta Falcons. Prime time, ready to deliver. He'll pinch it here with two on and one out. Looper from the stretch to Dion. Dion lifts a fly ball right field. It will be caught by Duncan. Runner tagging and Pendleton is in at third. He is safe. So Sanders lifts a fly ball out to right and it moves Pendleton to third. Lemke remains at first. Two down for Otis Nixon. Nixon on the 0-2. Grounder right side. Pujols makes the play, but not in time. Run comes in. 5-2 Braves. Another look here. Just a little bit late with that throw. Looper came off the mound. He was ready for it. It looked like Pujols might have bobbled it a little bit. Official ruling will be base hit. So Lemke to second, Nixon to first on an infield single. And now it's 5-2 to two Atlanta. 1993 Braves. And now Jeff Blauser is at the plate. Blauser on the 2-1. Fly ball, left field, and that will do it. Two runners stranded. But at the end of six, Atlanta now with its largest lead yet. 5-2, to two, 1993 Braves leading the 2006 St. Louis Cardinals in this Hall of Fame bash. 24 years of excellence have all led to this. Out of the Park Baseball 24 is the definitive award-winning MLB strategy game. Play what the pros play. Out of the Park Baseball 24 takes baseball strategy to the next level like never before. All new on-screen analytics to power your decision-making, giving you a comprehensive view of the field. Dive deeper into the action with new 3D animations and visual improvements that bring the game to life. The most detailed GM mode in sports games keeps raising the realness bar. the most authentic experience ever. And Perfect Team swings back with a whole new experience. The incredible long-running baseball strategy series never stops hustling to be the best. Turn your team into a dynasty. Win the World Series. Out of the Park Baseball 24, the Infinite Baseball Sandbox. Available March 2023. All right, folks, that has been a quick commercial break. Stay with us. Just making a couple of adjustments very quickly, and we'll be right back. How are we doing here on our first ever Monday Night Baseball? Not quite so much drama. If you've been watching my channel on Dr. Dynastic, uh, we had a 19 inning game followed by another extra inning game. So I'm just pleased that I don't have to broadcast 30 something innings here. But I hope you're enjoying it, guys, because this is what we're going to do every Monday here on Twitch. And bear with me for just a moment. Hang out. Settle in. In fact, call a friend. Let them know we're watching. We're playing here. We want to get you involved here as you're watching the 2006 St. Louis Cardinals and the 1993 Atlanta Braves.
right, there we go. Cotton candy. I love to see the cotton candy. Thank you very much. New pitcher. We're going to get a Beetle Boy 911 emergency call to the bullpen. So Mark Woolers comes on in relief. We'll get to his stats on the year in just a moment. Hard throwing reliever comes on in relief of Mad Dog. Greg Maddox, his night, folks, is over. Greg Maddox, his final line. Six innings, six hits, two runs, both earned. He did walk one and struck out two. So Bobby Cox decides to go to the bullpen and put the game in the hands of Mark Wollers. Pitches in the high 90s, lively fastball. Also throws a slider and a splitter. 4.50 ERA this year. Numbers markedly up from last year. His first full season in the bigs where he had a 2.55 ERA. So Wollers... Coming out of the bullpen into the frying pan. He'll take the top of the order here for the 2006 Cardinals. David Eckstein leading off. Eckstein still looking for his first base hit, but not looking for any more facial hair. He's got his best Tom Selleck going on right now. Eckstein ahead in the count 3-0. And I must ask you a question. Are you ready for a walk? David Eckstein is. So your 2006 Cardinals have the leadoff man aboard. Eckstein, speed demon when he burst on the scene in 2001. Career high, 29 steals for the Angels that year. And now he is on first. His stolen base numbers down this year. Seven swipes in 13 attempts. And now that will do it for Woolers. So Woolers pitching to just one batter. And now they want the lefty versus lefty mat uh, matchup. So Bobby Cox channeling his inner Tony La Russa here. Even Tony's looking across going, yep, game respect game. We've got a lefty versus lefty matchup. Mike Stanton in another emergency call to the bullpen brought to you by Beetle Boy 911. Stanton, 27 saves this year. And he'll pitch from the stretch against the left-handed hitting Chris Duncan. Duncan at the plate. 0 for 2 so far. And Stanton looks in for the sign. Here's the 2-2. Fly ball, right field at the track, at the wall, and gone! Chris Duncan! As the cards back in this, a two-run shot out to right. It's five to four. Let's take another look at that one. That replay being brought to you by ESCV, the ultimate destination in baseball escapism. On a hanging curveball. Took it out of the park. Chris Duncan up against Mike Stanton. And the lead is now down to one. Stanton will now face Albert Pujols with the bases empty. Albert one for three here tonight. Albert Pujols facing a long journey to get here to the major leagues. Unheralded. Playing community college baseball, 13th round pick, 402nd overall pick. Interesting to note, too, that Tampa Bay had eyes for Albert. In fact, one of their scouts, Fernando Arango, recommended the team sign this guy, put him in a Rays uniform. The Devil Rays declined. They took a pass on Pujols. Guess what happened to that scout? He quit. Can't blame him one bit. Albert Pujols now behind in the count on 0 and 2. Grounds this to third. Pendleton all over that one. Throws to first. McGriff is going to make that catch. Pujols is down. 
And now we'll get another pinch hitter here. Interesting call from Tony La Russa. And this might be a message for Jim Edmonds. Edmonds, who had been struggling in the outfield, clearly distracted on two plays in particular. Well, Tony's had enough of Jim Edmonds, and in comes Juan and Carnacion. Coming over from the Florida Marlins, 278 hitter this year, 19 home runs, 79 RBI. So when Carnacion comes into the ball game for Edmonds. Up against Mike Stanton. Here's the 1-2 to Juan. And Juan gets a base hit to center. So a pinch hit single. And suddenly, the Cards have the game time run on first. And the go-ahead run at the plate. Scott Rowland now digs in against Mike Stanton. Cutaway shot of Greg Maddox. Cannot be happy right now after leaving this game. With a four-run lead. Three-run lead, I beg your pardon. And now that lead down to one. Scott Rowland. Chance to now tie this ball game potentially. 2-2 two -two pitch. Grounder up the middle. Shortstop takes it. Blousers throw to first. Two down. So could not get the lead runner in Carnacion at second. And Preston Wilson now at the plate. Wilson first pitch, swinging high fly ball, left field, and Gant is there. And that takes us to the seventh inning stretch in Atlanta. Seventh inning stretch. Brought to you by Memesa. Uh, you want memes? You want pizza? Check out Memesa, uh, where everything is just Memesa. Uh. If you like your own custom read during a broadcast here on my channel and right here on OOTP Developments, Cotton Candy, check out my stream, DR Dynastic, on Twitch. All right, here we go. Bottom of the seventh coming out of the seventh inning stretch. And Ron Gant will lead off for the Braves, whose lead has now evaporated down to just one. Gant, McGriff, Justice, your three, four, five hitters here in the seventh. Gant hitless in three at-bats so far. Gant flies this one to right, going the other way, and making the grab is Duncan one down. Fred McGriff, what a mid-season acquisition he has been for Atlanta. Scuffling a little bit were the Braves. Then they get McGriff in that trade with San Diego. Afterwards, Tony Gwynn, longtime Padre, Mr. Padre, asked for comment. He was a little bit miffed about that. Couldn't believe that all they got for Fred McGriff, future Hall of Famer, MVP candidate, Fred McGriff was three players and a bag of peanuts. And they never even got the bag of peanuts. McGriff, monster season. His numbers with Atlanta, 310, 19 home runs, and lighting a fire quite literally under this Braves lineup. And as we mentioned earlier in the broadcast, right here at Atlanta Fulton County Stadium, now, he's no pyromaniac, folks, but something about Fred McGriff really lit a fire under these Braves. Torrid finish, overtaking the Giants to win the West. And then on the day that he would make his debut as a Brave, this press box that I'm in right now caught fire, quite literally. What a good omen for the Braves. So here's McGriff. McGriff gets into that one fly ball left field, but this one is coming back. 
as Wilson makes the catch and McGriff still hitless as he is retired. Now here comes David Justice. Justice one for two on the evening. Here's the 2-1. Justice lifts a fly to left. Busy man, Preston Wilson. He'll make the catch at the end of seven. 1993 Atlanta Braves leading the 2006 St. Louis Cardinals 5-4. to four. Bottom of the order for the cards in the top of the eighth. Molina, Miles, and Looper. Though you do have to think that Tony La Russa will pinch hit for Looper in the nine spot in the order. Yachty at the plate here on the 1-0. Molina, fly ball, center field. Nice diving, sliding catch by Otis Nixon. Another look here on the replay. Dandy of a play. And we are getting an update here on the out-of-town scoreboard. Brought to you by Cubs fan 23, Steve. And we're getting word that Minerva has just pulled the future legend, Ellie De La Cruz. Minerva, it was nice knowing you. We'll see you in Diamond. Congratulations. Aaron Miles now steps into the batter's box. Interesting story about Aaron Miles. You'd have to go back to his playing days in 2000. Spring training with Houston. In a hotel, several teammates. Aaron Miles in an adjoining room. Armed gunman come busting through the hotel room, holding his teammates at gunpoint, robbing them of their belongings. Miles, not knowing what's going on, joins the fray. And somewhere in that, Aaron Miles gets into it and wrestles one of the gunmen to the floor. And then during that exchange, police showing up at the scene at the hotel during spring training for the Houston Astros. And that gunman was shot by a police officer. The gunman, by the way, the robber did survive. But Aaron Miles getting into a tussle at the team hotel. One of those stories that if it wasn't in Wikipedia, you wouldn't believe it. And the fact that it's in Wikipedia, you're not quite sure 100% if it's true, but it's good enough for us. 2-1, the count now. Stanton's pitch is grounded into the hole. Shortstop Blouser is there. Throws to first. And Miles is out. We'll now get a pinch hitter here. So Taguchi will pinch hit. So Taguchi... 266 hitter on the year for the Cardinals. He'll come in. And that means Braden Looper's night will be over. Makes sense. We saw this move coming. Taguchi now pinch hitting with nobody on. Two out. Stanton, though, has a count full. 3-2 taken for ball four. So Taguchi draws the two-out walk. That is going to do it now. Another 911, a Beetle Boy 911 emergency call to the bullpen. Greg McMichael now comes in. Greg McMichael comes out of the bullpen. Atlanta now with its third reliever, fourth pitcher overall, desperately clinging to a one run lead. Taguchi is on first. He does have some steel, folks. 11 steals this past season. Caught stealing just three times. You have to think he may have the green light here. Two down. David Eckstein now at the plate. David Eckstein up against Greg McMichael. He'll take that for ball four. So another base runner. First to Gucci. Now Eckstein. And setting the table for Chris Duncan. Duncan already with a two-run home run in this one. Chris Duncan, youngest son of the St. Louis pitching coach, Dave Duncan. Longtime right hand of the skipper, Tony La Russa. In fact, 
their relationship dating all the way back to their Kansas City A's days. They were teammates. Chris Duncan's father, Dave, was a catcher in the organization. Tony La Russa, longtime minor league player, cup of coffee or two with the A's, now a longtime bond as coach. Tony, the manager, Dave, the pitching coach, and now Duncan's son, Chris Duncan, in the at-bat of his life. Two on, two out. And Chris Duncan at the plate against Greg McMichael. The 0-2 pitch. High fly ball. Deep center field. Off the wall. That'll score one. Another run. Rounding third. And they will hold the runner. But we are tied. RBI double. Chris Duncan. It's 5-5. Five to five. Boy, he got a hold of that one. All the way to the wall. Run comes in. Five to five as Duncan delivers again. Now that sets the stage for Albert Pujols. MVP at the plate. Two aboard. Tie ball game. Top of eight. 1993 Braves, who led by as many as three, now in a 5-5 to deadlock with the 2006 St. Louis Cardinals. And the legend himself, Albert, at the play. First pitch on the way to Pujols. They will walk him intentionally. That is the right call. The fans here a little bit miffed at that one, but... You have to pitch around the game's deadliest hitter. Now we're going to play the what-if game. Because St. Louis did have Jim Edmonds in the spot in the order. They swapped out Edmonds for Juan Encarnacion. So Encarnacion with the bases loaded. Two out in a 5-5 five to five ball game. Here's the 0-1. Juan lifts a fly ball. Left field. Diving grab by Gantz. My, oh, my. Gant laying out. Makes the catch and saves the game. We head to the bottom of the eighth in Atlanta with a game tied at five. 24 years of excellence have all led to this. Out of the Park Baseball 24 is the definitive award-winning MLB strategy game. Play what the pros play. Out of the Park Baseball 24 takes baseball strategy to the next level like never before. All new on-screen analytics to power your decision-making, giving you a comprehensive view of the field. Dive deeper into the action with new 3D animations and visual improvements that bring the game to life. The most detailed GM mode in sports games keeps raising the realness bar. the most authentic experience ever. And Perfect Team swings back with a whole new experience. The incredible long running baseball strategy series never stops hustling to be the best. Turn your team into a dynasty. Win the World Series. Out of the Park Baseball 24, the infinite baseball sandbox. Available March, 2023. All right, folks, Monday Night Baseball. Does it get any better than this? We're loving it. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. All right, bottom of eighth, epic showdown between the 1993 Atlanta Braves and the 2006 St. Louis Cardinals. Jeff Supon now on in relief. It's a Beetle Boy 911 emergency call to the bullpen. 5-5 five, five ball game. He'll come in for Braden Looper. And in a 5-5 five, five deadlock, he will start off against the pinch hitter. A young Ryan Klesko, 22-year-old, steps in. Just 31 major league at-bats so far. Has a little bit of pop. 
two home runs in those plate appearances. Unbelievably, Ryan Klesko's rookie year, an inauspicious start back in 1992 last year, appeared in 13 games, had 14 at-bats. He walked once. He had one RBI, struck out five times, hitless in 14 at-bats. Can we get a professional? Jeff Supon on in relief in this one as we get you ready now for Monday Night Baseball. Ryan Klesko will pinch hit as we start the bottom of the eighth. Ryan Klesko, 0 for 14, his rookie year, 1992. This year, much different story. 353 average, six hits. In 17 at-bats, two round trippers. Ryan Flesco, the up-and-coming star for the Braves. And he'll take on Jeff Supon. Count is 2-0 to Klesko. Klesko grounds it right side. Pujols is all over that one. He makes the play one down. Damon Berryhill now at the plate. Barry Hill batting from the left side. And Damon Barry Hill had a chance to play the role of hero, folks. Go back to last year's World Series against Toronto. You guessed it. Game winning three run home run for the Bravos in game one of that World Series. What will he do here? And an even bigger game. Monday night baseball on out of the park baseball. There's no game bigger than this. Not even the World Series. Count is 2-2 two and two to Barry Hill, the former Cub. Weak ground ball to short. Eckstein will make the play. Throws to first. Quickly two down. And Mark Lemke now steps in. Lemke, the second baseman, hit safely once in three at-bats so far. Lemke with a little tapper back to Pujols at first. And the side is retired. Heading to the ninth in Atlanta. Scott Rowland coming up. So Scott Rowland will lead off for the St. Louis Cardinals who have rallied back, scoring in each of the last four innings. A run in the fifth, another in the sixth, two in the seventh, one in the eighth, and now that sets the table for a 5-5 to tie here in the ninth. Rowland, Wilson, Molina, scheduled batters for the Cards. I'd love to get a win here against the 1993 Braves. Greg McMichael from the windup. 1-1, rolling. High fly ball. Deep right field at the track and caught by Justice. Boy, oh boy. I thought that was going to leave the yard. Warning track power for Scott Rowland there. He is retired. We will get a pinch hitter now. Preston Wilson out and John Rodriguez in. 28 year old at 301 during the regular season. 183 at bats, 12 doubles, three triples, two home runs. So a little bit of pop here from the pinch hitter, John Rodriguez. He's got the count full, 3 2. He takes strike three, looking. A chest safari strikeout. Two down is Greg McMichael. Tries to make quick work of the cards. Well, we mentioned Yadier Molina and his lineage here in Major League Baseball. Father played second base as an amateur in Puerto Rico. Ten-hour days he worked at the factory in Puerto Rico as a tools technician. Raised his boys, Yadier, Benji, Jose, each, by the way, after Yachty won this 2006 World Series, all of them with World Series rings. Not many families can say they have three boys and three World Series rings. Molina, first pitch offering to him as he grounds it to first. We'll have a throw over to the bag as McMichaels is covering. And we've got a Sid Bream sighting, by the way. 
So Sid Bream has found his way onto the field and now into the lineup. Fred McGriff, my friends, is out of the game. Sid Bream is in. On the weekend after, we celebrate Fred McGriff being inducted into the Hall of Fame. He is out of our Hall of Fame bash. So Sid Bream steps in. Longtime former Pittsburgh Pirate, former Dodger, spent the last three years in St. Louis. So he will, excuse me, in Atlanta. So Sid Bream will bat against Jason Isringhausen. Izzy to pitch the bottom of the ninth. Try to keep this game tied at 5-5. Five five. Bream at the plate. On the 1-0. Isringhausen's pitch. High fly ball. Center field. Base hit. So Sid Bream with a leadoff single. And the game winning run now stands at first. And Otis Nixon at the plate. Otis already three hits in three at bats so far. See what he does here in at bat number four. First pitch to Otis. Otis with a fly to center. Otis Nixon delivers. That is a walk off. Otis Nixon with a two run homer in the battle of the Hall of Famers. It's a light hitting Otis Nixon who delivers in the Hall of Fame bash. A walk off on Monday Night Baseball. The 1993 Atlanta Braves 7, the 2006 St. Louis Cardinals 5. You've been watching Monday Night Baseball. When we come back, your post-game show Stay with us. Another look here on the walk-off that sends the Braves into a frenzy. A walk-off two-run homer for the 1993 Braves. And Otis Nixon delivering in the bottom of the ninth, lifting the Braves to the 7-5 victory on Monday Night Baseball. Time for your post-game show being brought to you by EVC and NYC2. Join EVC every Wednesday for guests to set on Twitch. 2 p.m. Pacific every Wednesday. Only on Twitch. Only Otis Nixon. One home run in 532 plate appearances this year. Otis Nixon. Seven career home runs. In 1,003 games, hits a rope out to center to win the ball game. You'll see just about anything on Monday Night Baseball, folks. My goodness, what a debut for the broadcast. Cannot ask for anything better than that. Otis Nixon, our player of the game, four for four, three RBI, two of those coming in the bottom of the ninth as the 1993 Braves take down the 2006 St. Louis Cardinals. It's a walk-off in Atlanta, folks. Hope you had a good one. Feel free to see me over on my Twitch channel, Dr. Dynastic, and help me decide 
what the next game is going to be next Monday on Monday Night Baseball. What a game. Folks, we set the bar way too high. I don't know what we could possibly do for an encore, but we'll do the best we can. I'll be back on tomorrow on my affiliate channel tomorrow at noon. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time. I'll leave you a few more drops as we say so long from Monday Night Baseball. All right, now this is what I do, guys. I don't leave people hanging. So if you have, if you're close to getting that last pack, let me know. I'm not going to sign off here on the stream until you get that last pack. I don't want to leave you hanging. So you let me know if you got any last minute seconds that you need. Let me know. We'll hang on for you, okay? If you're all maxed out, if you're good to go, great. But we want everybody to leave the ballpark happy on Monday Night Baseball. And thank you guys for the kind words. It was, I mean, seriously, we are at the mercy of Out of the Park Baseball. And time and time again, the game always delivers. Always. Always. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. Because I sure did. And again, I'll be streaming tomorrow at noon Pacific. And then we will decide who's going to get that next matchup. But my goodness, we started with a bang. A walk-off for Atlanta on their home field against the Cardinals and Otis Flippin' Nixon. Seven career home runs in 1,003 games. He hits a walk-off to win it for the Braves. All right, folks, that is a wrap. Be sure to look out for your streamers out there, your affiliate streamers. There are many. Show your love to them. If you find one tonight, say hi. Tell them Doc sent you, and we'll see you next time. So long, everybody. Have a good one, and I will see you tomorrow on Dr. Dynastic and next Monday right here on OOTP Developments. Take care. Ah, uh, wait a sec. Do we have Spore up? Let's do it. Let's hook him up. First rule is you always look for somebody to raid to. Don't go anywhere. Let's do it. Let me just make sure. Let me just make sure. He is. Spore is streaming. So there we go. Get your packs over there. So hang on. We'll go ahead and get you on the raid here. Let's see if I have the power to do this. By the power of Grey Skull and out of the park. I don't know if I have the power to do it. It's still not working. Darn it. I wanted to. Backslash raid will not work for me. If there's anybody in the channel right now that is a mod, for whatever reason, I am typing raid, sporer, and it won't go through. Darn it. Trying the best I can, guys. Cannot do it. I am a mod, but I guess there are some, some powers I just don't have. All right, we'll give our guy Spore a, uh, a watch. He's waiting for you, guys. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. B, A, B, A, select, start. I'll try that, Coach Ruffy. All right, everybody. Take care. See you next Monday on Monday Night Baseball. And I hope to see you on my affiliate channel as well, Dr. Dynastic. Take care. So long. Goodbye, baseball. Hey, there we go. We got the raid. Thank you, AZ Axel. He did it. AZ Axel. Boy, just when I was ready to click the stop button. All right, everybody jump on over. We got about 300 people over for Spore. AZ, super appreciate it. AZ Axel, thank your mods. Remember to leave them a nice tip.